Hi everyone, welcome to the Brahmitz YouTube channel. Once again, thank you for joining us. Today we're offering more in the series regarding having writer's fatigue, also known as writer's block. And I'd like to start off today by just saying, you know, more often than not, when we're feeling overwhelmed by that blank page or by that article idea, we or character development, we're coming at it from a sense of fatigue. So this video series helps us with a variety of ways of recharging the creative battery, recharging that energy battery and clearing out the cobwebs of our minds so that we can complete the project at hand. So the first idea I wanna to share today is really to just skip that section. Let's say you're in the middle of a chapter and you just, you can't figure out where to go with that particular chapter. The best thing really to do is just skip it, go forward, go back, go to the end, write the byline, write the bio, write the, the, the book promotional blurbs, whatever stage that you are at besides that particular writing dilemma that you're facing, go do some, some uh, outlines or some list making or some creative writing in those regards and get away from what you're currently finding is a roadblock for you. Sometimes when you write the next cha chapter or you write the ending for the book or maybe the promo blurb for the book or maybe you're talking to someone about your book, that you're working on with a friend and all of a sudden that section that you skipped comes together, all the pieces start fitting and you're aching to get at that keyboard. So sometimes we just have to let things sit and stew and just be patient with the process of writing. Don't worry so much about the deadline unless you're actually on a deadline. Um, but if you're just, if it's just a personal deadline, you're writing a book and you're saying, I wanna have this done by the end of the year, if you don't get it done by the end of the year, it's not really the end of the world. Sometimes we even have to set that project aside for weeks. Sometimes projects get set aside for a couple of years. While we grow as a writer, gain the skills and the enthusiasm for that project once again. So if you're reaching that burnout or that stage of exhaustion, sometimes it's just better to set it aside, move on to something else, come back to it later. The other tip I want to give today is to glance at your tentative marketing plan for this particular project and then review once again, who is the audience? Who is the reader? What type of reader? Who's the ideal reader? What, what do you picture when you picture someone picking up your book? What do they look like? What kind of person are they? Where do they live? What do they live in? Try to create this character for your reader and write for that reader. Sometimes you might just have to make a list of what you plan to do and where you want this particular piece to take that particular reader and then step back and let that stew for a little while and come back to that. Remind yourself what your aim is and then refocus your writing based on that. Sometimes that's all it takes. So hopefully that helps you on your writer's journey. We'll be back with many more tips later on. So keep on coming back to this channel. Also scroll through the archived episodes as well. You'll find that we offer a lot of tips for writers and entrepreneurs at, for you at your convenience to watch. 